yale unayosema lazima yawe maneno ya busara the acts that you you do the acts that i do should be acts of kindness kila kitu unachokifanya kiwe kitu cha busara and he said that love is long suffering alafu anasema kama upendo huu anao ndio kuvumilia it enables you and me to suffer for long inakujalia kuweza kuvumilia muda mrefu the meaning of that hata so suffering kama kia masumbuko mengi the trials and temptation masumbuko mengi na hata kuzunguka that love of god enables you to to suffer long pamoja na machungu mengi inakuwezesha kuvumilia kabisa bila kukuacha as a good quality of the holy spirit kama sifa nzuri ya roho mtakatifu and he says also that love that you and I need to reflect tena nasema kwamba upendo ule ambao mimi nawe tunafaa kuangazia sio wa wa wivu au unafiki and it's not puffed up up na puffed up na pia hauishi and he says all the gifts of the spirit will pass away anasema kwamba vipao vingine vya roho mtakatifu vitaisha prophecy will pass away ya kwamba unabii utaisha Miracles will pass away. Utenda miujiza utaisha. Miracles will pass away. Hata imani itaisha. Love will not pass away. Lakini upendo hautapita. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Love is rooted in God. Upendo uko ndani ya Mungu. Love you and I. Kwa sababu wewe na mimi. Yes, for that every kingdom. Lazima tukitarije kwa sababu ya falme ule. And I should be able to reflect love. Lazima sisi wote tukaweze kuangazia. And that love of God. Upendo ule wa Mungu. Not man fact Uwezi kuutengeneza. Not my fact sheet. Ah mimi pia siwezi kuutengeneza. Something that comes to you. Ni jambo ambalo linakuja kwako. Something that comes to me. Inakuja kwangu. That God gives to you. Ambayo ni kipaji cha Mungu. God gives to me. Mungu ananipa by the Holy Spirit. Upendo wa Mungu mtakatifu. And that's why it says by Romans 5:5 ndio sababu wa Rumi 5 mstari wa 5 the love of god is poured into our hearts by the holy spirit upendo wa mungu umemwaga kwetu kupitia kwa roho mtakatifu tunapofungua mioyo yetu kwa roho mtakatifu kule to god for that gift of love to you and me roho wa mungu analeta upendo ule pamoja na karama ile ya upendo to each other ili tuweze kuangazia kwa watu wote reflect to others na ukaweza kupatia wengine and jesus In John chapter 13 verse 34 and 35 Yohana katika sura ya 13 mstari wa 34 hadi 35 and you command me that I give to you alisema kwamba napeana amri kuu that you love one another kwa sababu kapenda nini as I have loved you jinsi ambavyo nimewapenda ninyi you should love one another tupendane by this kwa hayo All we know that you are my disciples. Wote utajua kwamba kweli nyinyi ni wanafunzi wangu. My reflection of love and your reflection of love. Kuangazia upendo wangu na nanyi kuangazia upendo wangu. The testimony that you belong to God. Ni ishara ya kwamba tuna sisi tu wa Mungu. When you reflect that love, wewe unapoangazia upendo ule. It is shown in forgiveness. Inaonekana katika msamaha. Whatever a person has done to me that has hurt me yale yote ambayo mtu ametendea na kuniumiza whatever a person has done to you that has hurt you yale ambayo mtu amekutendea na kukuumiza we know of that love of god upendo wake ule wa mungu you are willing to forgive unaweza kumsamehe as jesus forgave us on the cross jinsi yesu kristo alikuwa kusamehe katika msalaba was in deep pain and suffering wakati alipokuwa katika uchungu mwingi kwa kuzunguka to god the father father na akamwambia mungu ya kwamba mungu asamehe for they don't know what they are doing kwa sababu hawajui walitendalo praise the name of jesus bwana asifiwe jesus manifested his love Yesu aliweka upendo wake. Forgiving you and forgiving me on the cross of Calvary. Kwa kuweza kutusamehe pale msalaba. And can you forgive me and forgive you? Na ameendelea kukusamehe na kunisamehe. That's why the same is the Psalms 103. Ndio sababu Zaburi anakuja katika sura ya 133. It says for who forgives all my iniquities. Anasema kwamba yeye ile anayesamehe makosa yetu yote. Who is all my diseases? Alaye tuponya madhara madhara yetu yote is a forgiving God. Mungu ni wa kusamehe. Mungu ni wa kusamehe. Hata yale ambayo matendo yote yale yote ambayo nimetenda. I want to forgive you. Yeye yeah, anasamehe. I want to forgive me. Ana kunisamehe pia. Na kunyosha. 
Forget whatever I did against you. Na kusahau yote ambayo nimemtendea mabaya. The spirit of love that God commands you and me to have. Hiyo ndio upendo ambayo Mungu anataka tuwe nayo. Keep on preparing for the heavenly kingdom. Watu wanaokitarisha kwenda mbinguni. Watema papo na time for you and we are not forgiven that brother or sister. Yale ambayo mtu amefanyia mabaya na ujamsamehe. Let us stand in the kingdom of heaven. Ili kwenda kuingia kwenye ukweli wa mbinguni. Christ is commanding you and commanding me. Kristo ana kuamuru wewe nami. Forgive ya kwamba tusamehe tusamehe huyo mtu so that you are free before god ili tuweze kuwa wa, wazi mbele ya mungu so that is free and my heart is free ili mwili wa, moyo wako uwe na uhuru na na uwe huru jesus said in mark chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 katika marko 11 kumi na moja mstari wa 25 hadi 26 jesus mentioned when you stand pray Yesu anasema kwamba kisimama omba when you and I stand praying unaposimama kuomba forgive hebu samee whoever has wronged you yeyote ambaye amekosea should you forgive whoever has wronged me hebu niweze kusamea yule ambaye amenikosea many times our prayers are needed wakati mwingine maombi yetu yame